Hello, on this video I'm going to show how to create a layout with a CSS and then create a view that uses this layout. So here I have the project from the past video. And the first thing I want to do is create a layout. So right here inside the shared folder, I'm going to right click and add new item. and MVC layout page. I'm going to name this Grievous Layout. Click on Add. And now I'm going to delete the index of the Grievous controller and then I'm going to recreate it. Now you can either do that or you can also change the code right here. So I much rather delete it and start over. So if you notice right here, there is a complete HTML code on this file. And I'm going to delete this. And then I'm going to open the Grievous controller. Right click on the index and then add a view. And this time I want to use a layout page, click right here on this browsing, and then browse to the layout you just created. So click OK. And if you remember, the old layout had all the HTML codes, and this one here does not. And also the difference is that this page has a layout and then it shows here a path to the layout that we picked when we create this page. So let's try to understand a little bit what the layout is. I did a little bit of search and then I saw this article on the Microsoft website about a layout. And it tells you here in this article that whenever you have something in common among many, many pages within your website, you want to create a layout to keep the look consistent. So we already have a layout and I'm going to try to create something like this. This is my layout and I have the complete HTML here and I have something funny right here called the render body. So what that means is whenever you're serving this page then it will be a mix between your layout and your page and your view. So whatever you have here in your view, it's going to be inserted right here on this location. So that means I can write whatever I want to write here. And then if I go to the view, I write something. And if I run this program now, you can see that the result was a mix of content from the layout and from the view. If you look at the page source, you're going to see that both the layout and the view came together. And that's a good thing. The client doesn't know that you were actually using a layout. So if that's the case, I can create a lot more content right here. So let me create something real quick. So first, I want to create a header. And then inside this div, I'm going to put a ID. And I want the render body to be inside the article. And now I want to create a navigation. And inside this navigation, I want to create a list. And some other content here. And then finally, I also want a footer. Now this is good, and if I run this code now, I have something like this, and we just need to write the CSS for this now. I'm going to create a new CSS, Click on Add. So I'm not going to get you bored by typing the CSS. So I'm just going to copy and paste here 
but I am going to paste the CSS on the description of this video. Save it. And the final thing to do is to actually add the CSS to the layout. So right here on my layout, on the head, I'm going to drag and drop my CSS right here. And then finally, I can run this program. And I have here something similar to what we saw on the Microsoft website. I did put some very strong colors right here just for me to see what is where. But absolutely, feel free to change whatever color you want. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.